Hello friends, I'm Megan. And I'm Jesse. Megan, did you know that lions usually live in groups called prides? A pride can have as many as 40 lions. Wow, that is a lot of lions. Where did you learn that fact, Jesse? I checked out a book about lions from the library. My mom and I have been reading it. Wanna know another lion fact? Sure. A man lion's roar can be heard as far as five miles away. Whoa, really? Yeah, I don't know how long five miles is, but my mom said it's really, really far. She was right. Now, can I give you a fact about lions? Okay. God shut the mouths of hungry lions in today's Bible story. What? He did? How did God do that? God can do anything, remember? Let's listen to the story. Babylon had a new king. His name was Darius. King Darius picked Daniel to be one of his helpers. Daniel worked hard, and he was good at his job. The king liked Daniel. He decided to give Daniel a better job. The other helpers were not happy that Daniel was going to get a better job. They watched Daniel very carefully. They wanted to catch him doing something wrong so they could tell on him. But Daniel did what was right. The helpers knew Daniel loved God and obeyed him. They knew Daniel prayed to God, so they made a mean plan to get Daniel in trouble. The helpers went to the king. King, we think you should make a law that says everyone can only pray to you for 30 days. Of course, every law needs a punishment for breaking it. So the men said, anyone who breaks the law will be thrown into the lion's den. King Darius made the law. People can only pray to the king. Daniel knew the new law meant he could not pray to God during that time. But Daniel went into his house and prayed to God three times every day, just like he had always done. The men spied on Daniel and saw him praying to God. Then they hurried to the king. Daniel broke the law. We saw him praying they said. King Darius was sad. He did not want to put Daniel in the lion's den, but that was the law. I hope God saves you, the king told Daniel. And Daniel was thrown into the lion's den. That night, the king could not sleep. He did not eat. He sat in his palace and thought about Daniel with the lions. As soon as the sun came up the next morning, the king hurried to the lion's den. He hoped Daniel was okay. Daniel, he called out, did God save you from the lions? Yes, said Daniel. God sent an angel to shut the lion's mouths. I am safe. King Darius was so happy. Daniel came out of the lion's den. He wasn't hurt. Daniel had trusted God to keep him safe. The king made a new law. The law said that everyone must respect God. God had saved Daniel and kept him safe from the lions. God saved Daniel from the lions. God is powerful. God sent his son Jesus to save us from something more dangerous than lions. Jesus rescues us from sin and death. 